more. There. There we go. Good. Good, you're the shake out king. Nobody shakes out as much as you. Watch me, watch, I'll shake out. <laughs> Would it be okay if I work with you today? What do you think of that? You want to think about that for a minute? I just made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. <laughs> All right, so we have Bear here today. This is Bear, and this is his owner, Dad, Elish. Bear is a purebred American bully. He's about 115 pounds, five and a half years old. Um, and uh, yeah, I found him through a really skilled breeder down in Georgia. Yeah. And ever since the beginning, we've been best friends. Very All right, silly. so I'm glad you're here, Bear. And um, what's the reason you brought him in? You, you must have seen me through the videos I put up, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm a huge fan of chiropractic. I'm a movement practitioner, so I use chiropractic whenever I have ailments like that. And he injured his right leg jumping onto the bed. Okay. Um, How long ago? About three and a half weeks ago. And has it gotten better to a point? It has gradually gotten better, but I would figure because of the injury and compensation that he would have some kind of misalignment in his hips or anything like yeah. that. And since he's so heavy, I wanted just to make sure that I did everything I could to reduce his pain. Okay, cool. Yeah. I see you keep his nails nice and trim, which is nice. Fortunately, American yeah. Bully's nails don't grow that much. So really? I don't really do much with his nails. Yeah, yeah. so that's good because um, you would want him to really land those paws down. Yeah. So what happens, uh, if you don't keep the nails trim, uh, it, it just, the, a dog really needs to, to feel the earth. And so if you only hear nails clicking, that's not a good thing. Makes sense. And it can eventually lead to more wear and tear and more arthritis and, and things like that, which we don't want. Um, but would it be okay if I work with you today? What do you think of that? <laughs> you want to think about that for a minute? Excuse us, we're, 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 we're communicating. <laughs>
<laughs> he really oh is cute. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't know if you could hear it, but it went like, boom. <laughs> and it made a little noise. Oh, you should have you. Um, kind of clunked that down. Absolutely. And he, he seemed to have a great reaction. Mm. Hey, what do you think? So what I did is I adjusted your right superior atlas, and that's why you're feeling so crazy right now. <laughs> All right, you got great little ears and a little head massage. I made this course called How to Massage Your Dog. And oh. the, the website's called howtomassageyourdog.com. It's three and a half hours of training, but it takes you through uh, the head, the neck, the, the back, the hips, the chest, the legs. And uh, there's also examples. The last five video chapters are me working with a teacup dog all the way up to a Great Dane and putting full sessions in. And you can do a couple of minutes a day or whatever you want. Oh, but it would be good for you to check that out sometime. I would love to do and that. they're still on sale. So the website is howtomassageyourdog.com. Howtomassageyourdog.com. And it's good because I made it and I did a good job on it. Okay, and you should watch it too. Okay, or tell your dad to do it. All right, so now I'm gonna just come down the neck. That is quite a substantial size muscular neck that you have here. And then I'm gonna bring this leg up and just check your little toes. And I'm gonna check everything. Pull those out. Check your little wrists, elbow joint. Put your elbow and bring your leg all the way up. Compress them all the way up. Good, stretch it, stretch it wide. Let's check this side. Good, all right, just keep going. That's okay, buddy. <laughs> Then I'm going to come around to this side and be on the other side. I'm going to just lift this leg up. Oh boy. Nice. Now look at this. So I was on the other side, I thought this area was um, really stretches nice on this side. I'm not sure if I saw that on this side. Oh, it does. Okay. You were just keeping it tight on me. <laughs> All right. So here's your shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are on the sides. Well, on, for us, they're on the back. Mm -hmm. Right? But on quadrupeds, they're more to the side. So here, you can feel the shoulder blade right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. These are the shoulder blades. Yeah. And they feel good. And now I'm going to come between the shoulder blades. And this is the withers, T3 through T8. Dogs have seven bones with their neck, 13 bones in their thoracic, and seven lumbars. We have oh. seven, 12, and five. Cats have seven, uh, 13, and seven, just like you guys. And then, like horses, for example, have seven in the neck, 18 typically, and six lumbars. Did you know that? Did you know that about horses? And so now I'm coming down the back and feeling thoracics. And I'm in this back here. Got it. <laughs> shake it. Oh, good boy. Let's see if he wants to shake on that one. So give him a little space, give him a little longer leash. There we go. All right. We haven't even got to the hips yet. We're just taking our time. There. <laughs> Look, I'm out of here. Notice I move away, because just in case. Yeah. Um, and let me see. Let's feel that tail. Can I touch your tail for a second? There's a little skittish around the tail. All right, let me just see. Let me get there a little bit. So, the tail is strong on him. I can sometimes get a pelvic release just on the tail. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm not going to yank it. It's a way to do this. Please let me. There we go. There you go. Like a little release. This is an adjustment. You heard, did you hear a crack? Oh, heard that. That, went, that went crack. You heard it, right? That was it. Oh. All right. See if he wants to shake that one out. Oh, good. Did good. you hear that one? I did, yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for letting me get up and in there. You know what I mean? All right. Thank you, buddy. There's some more. There you good. go. Uh -huh. That's a good integration when you shake it out. I'm just gonna let you settle that in. We're gonna go to the pelvis next. But that will, that, you know, the, we have 
the two iliums, the sacrum, and then we have, I could show you on this spine too. Well, this is a little guy, this isn't as big as you. So here's the ilium on the left, the ilium on the right, the sacrum, and then the coccygeal or the tail segments come. But if I wanna, in this case, I was able to kind of get some separation in there and kind of give some nice releases into the, even up into the sacrum by pulling and holding. And I was tractioning with my other hand. So it was, I just, I didn't pull the tail actually. I pushed up on the sacrum. I was all the way up at the first coccygeal segment. So I was at the very top of the tail. My thumb, I have pretty strong hands from doing this for so many years, but I grab up in there and I'm pulling up. And most of the work was with the non-tail hand. Yeah, I saw and that. then it would made a little release. So you can feel the bottom of the ribs would be the 13th thoracic. Then we start the seven lumbars. And we're in here. Now I'm down to T. I mean L. All right, there's one. So this lumbar is definitely out. So this is L7, right there. I'm just gonna hold it for a second, then I'm gonna probably adjust it. So it has a high mammillary process on the right. So the spinous is left, it's high on the right, and I'm gonna use that as a context. So it's really, if, if you're into chiropractic listings, it would be a uh, spinous left, seventh, I'm on the seventh lumbar is worse. No, six lumbar. I'm gonna pull back on this belly. So here we go. Big breath in. And King. Nobody shakes out as much as you. <laughs> watch me. Watch. I'll shake out. Bear look. <laughs> Let's do it. Take that. All right. So now we're going to go back. Okay. You might be the strongest dog I've ever worked on. You might be the strongest horse I've ever worked on. Yeah. You hear that? A horse. I'm going to get under this right hip. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right in there. So now I'm, I'm into the hip. And there is a problem here. This is, he probably sprained it. Mm. But it's a little out. Sorry, I died. It's okay. Now I'm on it right now. I'm pulling up the, the leg in, like flexing it in. There, now I'm on it. So I'm going to bring it out. stride will be shorter and then once right. it loosens up they'll have that longer stride where you're right the leg yeah, can go into totally. extension so let's walk the other way and we'll follow now yeah so he looks pretty good right yeah it looks way better actually i've been watching this here at the hawk the last couple weeks all right so let me tell you what we did we did a right atlas 
I came down, um, I got a big one at your thoracolumbar junction, which you're going to thank me for in a couple of years because that's an area you're going to have a lot of stress. Then we did, do you remember, we did, I was confused between L6 and L7, but I kind of settled finally on L6 and that one freaked you out, but we did it anyway. Then I worked into the muscle around your acetabulum and high into your hip socket, your SI joint, and the last thing I did was I set up and got your hip. So you let me know how you're doing, okay? Here, look at me really deep in my eyes. Thanks for coming. Talk to you soon, okay? Got a few key points, okay? All right. So, actually, the sun was out on you. Oh, your hip was out. You had a left hip, he has a right hip. Yeah, I'll always my left hip. Is that cool how we found that one? Oh, oh, you were. Oh. Lie on your side facing me. Oh. Let me have this wrist. One more. Oh. We're all good in there. You have good flexibility in your hands and wrists. Well, I'm so grateful I was able to come, and I found Dr. Willen on YouTube, and he seemed like a very genuine and skilled practitioner. And being here, I've never seen bears so comfortable, and it made me feel comfortable, and I am excited to bring him back. Got it.